Hello everybody, it's Miss Debbie from It's Art Time. How are you today? Good afternoon and happy Mother's Day. Um, we are going to be painting this painting today. Can you see it? Okay, so I'm a little nervous and I want to give everybody a few minutes to get online and um, get ready. So in the meantime, let's talk about our paint. So I'm going to be using Oh, I hope I can do this without it all running. I'm going to be using white, light brown, dark brown, just a little tinge of black, green, and blue. We're going to be mixing it all with our white. So if you've got lime green and then you've got a really pretty light blue, we can still use it. Don't worry. But I'm, I'm going to make this beautiful painting with a minimum of, what is that, five colors in white. So, um... Anyway, I hope you're enjoying a beautiful day today. Um, you're also going to need, it's everything that was in your kits. It's a styrofoam plate for your palette, paper towel, cup of water, and a one inch brush, flat, and a pointy brush. And mine, I have a messy brush, which is really good for blue bonnets. So with that, is everybody ready to get started? <laughs> We're nervous here, me and Mr. Steve. I've done lives with the kids, but you only see my hands and their children's drawings. So today we're going to be, you can see me, so it's a little nerve wracking. But anyway, take your one inch brush. We're going to dip it in the water and we're going to wipe both sides. Do we have viewers? We have nine. Oh, yep. good. So Mary you guys King, are ready. Kathy Upchurch, Jessica Hi, Gay. Kathy. Hi, Mary. Hi, Jessica. How are you? Happy Mother's Day, my beautiful mommies. I want to say Happy Mother's Day to my beautiful daughter-in-law, um, Charmaine, and also to my daughter, Candy, and to my beautiful little um, mommy, Sunny. Happy Mother's Day. Okay, so here we go. I've got a beautiful candle going for my daughter-in-law. So pretty. Here's the top. I just love it. I'm trying to buy it little time, you guys. Sorry. Okay, so... We are going to be dipping a lot of half of our brush in one color in white and the other half in another color. So let's always dip in the white first and that way it'll stay cleaner. So you're going to dip half in the white and then half in the brown like that. And all you're going to do is you're going to go back and forth straight across like this. And it's actually two colors. And it's what's going to give you that wood look. And just go back and forth. You want it to be streaky. So don't do it to where you're blending it all in and it's tan. And then each time, you're going to have to take your dirty brush. Just get it wet. Wipe both sides. You don't want it soaking wet to where it drips. If it does, just tap it on your paper towel. But you do want it wet enough to go all the way across. So you want to do, again, dip in your white first, and then half in your brown. So it looks like that. And I'm going to take the top of my white and meet it with my brown and just go back and forth. And eventually, it's going to look, it's going to have a wood look. And if you want, whenever it touches your sides, you can just get the edges of your canvas. And you want to get... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that same thing, half white and half brown, and go across. So Miss Mary, is William and, and, um, and Shawnee, are they watching you right now? Her sons bought a paint kit, so she's got everything she needs for this painting at her fingertips for her, from her son for Mother's Day. I think that is the sweetest thing. They're just growing up so fast, Mary. You got to make it stop. Okay, so we're just going to do that row for row. Go across. I've got my It's Art Time clock behind me so we can keep an eye on time. Just keep going back and forth. If you have any questions, Mr. Steve can read them to me. I'm trying to find it. Oh, he's trying to find it. <laughs> It might, well, if you watch this, you'll yeah. see it. Yeah, they'll. 
Okay, so let's do it again. Just keep doing half white and brown. If you see a lot of little white spots that are really dry, it just means your brush isn't wet enough. Okay, and I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna follow the same pattern that the, the white part of my brush is gonna be at the top and the brown at the bottom, and then just keep whipping. See the little sides? I'm gonna keep doing the edges. Oh, nice. Why don't you pull up a chair, Mr. Kastner? Make yourself at home. Yes, Mr. Steve is here. He's doing all my technical stuff because if anybody, any of you know me, I am technically challenged, but here we go. We are doing it. I just love it, you guys. This is wonderful. Thank you for coming. I think this is a wonderful Mother's Day present. I have just been dying to paint with everybody. Okay, is it starting to look like that one? This is an easy painting, you guys. We don't have to draw anything. You don't have to sketch anything. We're just gonna go on direction. It's gonna be all freehand. So pretty. Yadira. Hi, Yadi. Hola, hermana. How are you? <laughs> she, um, Yadira is from Bella Rock, um, the kindness project and they paint on rocks and they hide them and they spread love joy and kindness so fun she has free workshops at the studio you should be having another one very shortly once all this stuff opens up she's a nurse fighting on the front line so i know we won't see her till it's safe but we love you okay so now let's get i'm gonna keep Oh, that candle was hot. <laughs> I'm going to keep um, wiping my dirty brush on the side. And we're just going to do this till we continue all the way to the bottom. And I will talk you through it. So we're doing half brown, half white. Is it starting to look like wood yet? It's not going to look like actual wood pieces until we put the dark brown on. Right now, we're just doing our background. Just like when we did the Four Sisters, we always do the background first and then we paint the actual painting. Did any of you paint the Four Sisters with me? That was such a fun painting. It's really pretty. Ah, oh, this is, I love blue bonnets in Texas. Just so pretty when they come out. Okay. How are you doing, Mr. Steve? I'm doing very good. Okay, good. I'm gonna keep going. This part seems boring, but it's not as fun. Okay, here we go. Get you guys ready for the details. There's some fun strokes in here. This is actually a um, two color flat stroke because we're half in the white, half in the brown. And if you'll see, I'm just doing the edge of the white because we're going to be doing the same thing with the blue and with the green. So, Catherine Almarez, happy Mother's Day. Debbie. Oh my gosh, Kathy. <coughs> Hi. Hi, Sophie and Izzy. Oh my, Kathy. Hi. Oh my gosh. Kathy does cooking shows with her daughters and they're so fun. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I just love her. You've got to see them. They're just so cute. Is it Shay Almaraz? Yeah. <laughs> Signs. Yes. Shine. Oh, yes. Catherine Signs. This is so fun. Oh my goodness. She must be having fun painting with the girls right now. Yay. I love my Kathy. Yeah, she said the girls are with me. Yay. <laughs> Izzy. So who's got Kenzie on their lap? Kenzie's got to be on somebody's lap. Robin Kruger. Happy Mother's Day. Miss Debbie. Happy Mother's Day, Robin. 
Oh my goodness. How are you? Oh, keep going. Oh my goodness. There we go. Thank you, you guys. Thank you for being here. All right. Look at that. Okay, so with mine, because I'm holding it up and my hands will get ooey gooey, I'm just going to turn it over. You don't have to do that because you're probably either painting flat or on an easel. But I'm going to just keep on going here. I'm going to get my brush wet, wipe both sides. Am I going too fast for everybody? It's hard to tell when I'm not in the studio. Yeah, everybody is. They okay. look like it. You know, you've got... Okay. <laughs> I can hear my Making husband. their comments, yeah. Oh, yeah. yay. They're having fun. Yay. I'm so glad you're here because I can't read them. Gabby's uh, on watching, too. Oh, Tony, hi, Tony's Gabby talk. and Mia. Yeah. Who? Tony. Hi, Miss Tony. Oh, my gosh, you guys. So, I am wearing a pretty necklace that Tony made me from Grace, Grace Girls and Pearls. She made this handmade. My pastor's wife loved this today. I'm wearing what I wore to church to paint in. That's okay. It's worth it. Okay, now I'm getting the edges. Okay. I just, all oh, my mommies are on today. Hi to my Grace and Kaya too, and to Ann. Yay. Mary says, could you slow down, please? <laughs> 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 you can come in on Tuesday if you want. <laughs> we always do the, the day after. Uh, Mary, I love you. Okay, guys, so we're going to finish up like this, and we're going to give Mary a couple of minutes, because <laughs> we love Miss Mary. How far, how far down the canvas are you, Miss Mary? It's okay, because we just need a couple minutes for that to dry anyway. Yeah. yeah, just a couple. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, so I've painted it already, so I, I, I know I can go a little fast. When I'm um, in the studio with you guys, I can judge it better. Um, I know when the brushes are in the water, and there's only two or three painters, then I can go ahead with the next step. But with you guys online, I can't see that to judge. But I do have my clock. We've been going for 15 minutes. That's pretty good to have the background done. Okay. The next part's going to be really fun. We're going to do the first part of the glass jar, but it's not going to be our final part. It's just we're going to put it, we're going to paint it so that... Um, we know where to put the stems and stuff. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Oh, I'm going to take a drink. Okay, oh, that's a big cup. Yes, I love this cup. This one is made from um, Crazy Bell Crosses. It's beautiful. It glows in the dark, and she custom made it for me. I just think it's gorgeous. It's pretty. Okay. All right, so... Miss Mary, are you ready for the next step, love? Her shoulder's going numb. <laughs> <laughs> She's <Mary>. almost done. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. I think I'm going to chisel stroke that. No. Nope. So what you want to do is we're going to change brushes. So go ahead and put your big brush in the water. Do tiny circles, and that's what's going to clean your brush. Wipe both sides. Make sure it's nice and shaped. Hand it off to Mr. Steve, because he's really good at washing the brushes. Here, Mr. Steve. Thank you, puppy. Okay. So, with this part of the, of the mason jar, 
you want that to be kind of see-through, right? So the only way to do that is to water down your white, or not water it down, but thin it down. So, and prayerfully that doesn't fall down anytime through the life because it happens at the studio. Should but be Should be good? Okay. So the best way to thin it out is to, thank you, honey, take your water. We're gonna use our pointy brush and you wanna put one, two drops of water in your white. And then we're gonna make kind of a thin spot. Just mix that in there. I wish I could show you, but it would go running down the running down the plate. Okay. So what we're gonna do is it's 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 about it's not quite in the half, but it's not quite a third. So we're gonna go, oh, we're not gonna do the white yet. Whoops. Sorry you guys. Wash the white off the brush. We'll take that first. There's a still minute. some people catching up too, so you Okay, so we'll wait a minute. Yeah. We I forgot we've got to put the wood across. Yeah. Gotta do the dark. With the dark brown, yes. Thank you, Mr. Shee. This is so fun. I love this. I hope you're all having a beautiful Mother's Day. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, okay. take that little brush. So what I do, Steve, is I put it on there. Oh. Wonderful. That's what I do when oh, I, I zoom keep... with my junior high and high schoolers. All right, keep track. Okay. That's okay. That, it has a little delay, but yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're gonna take the dark brown with our skinny brush. Don't be afraid. We're gonna divide our canvas in half. And this is about the halfway mark. And I like it because you can see in the blends where the white is with the dark. I'm just gonna go ahead and paint a stripe across there. Ooh, it's about to happen. And then when I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the side and this side. And see, it's not perfect, it's wood. So it doesn't have to look perfect. So there's one going straight across. And then let's do, now I think I'm gonna do, let's see, two, how many? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, or four, five. Okay, I think I'm gonna do two lines here and two lines here. Or you can just go by where you've got darker brown. Yeah, I might do one, two, three. I might just do four, because I like the way the white and the brown is right there. <laughs> Steve's messing with the lights. <laughs> of course he is. Okay, so I'm gonna do one across here. And you see that? It's not perfect. It's not supposed to be perfect. There's no mistakes in art. This is supposed to look like old kind of barn wood. And then, I like the way it is between here and here. You can also do it by your midline and bottom if you want them to be, you know, perfectly spaced apart. I like random. So I, I like the way this dark brown is across here. So that's already like built in shading. So I'm going to go ahead and go across right there. See that little wiggle wiggle at the end? That's okay. That's just like roughed up wood. That looks pretty cool. I like the dark hair too. I might do a skinny one across the top. Cause see that dark, that gives it a, a built in. Do you hear that sound? That's my nail dragging across the canvas. There. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Do I have another point two brush like this? That's not quite as, yes, perfect. I got a, I got a really, like fluffy, um, messy one because it's just so nice for this part. But for some straight lines, I'm gonna go ahead and use a pointy brush, but it's not as beat up. Mm -hmm. I love my beat up brushes though. Try to 
Okay, so I'm gonna take this, this brush and we're gonna lay down some cracks. And that, you just get that dark brown again. And the trick to cracks is rolling your hand like that. So just lay down your brush and pull as you're wiggling. So, and look at the variations in your, how it came out in your painting. So I'm seeing there's dark and light there, so I'm just gonna kinda really lightly twist and turn. And there you go, there's a crack. Do you see that? I'm gonna bring it around the side. And see how there's dark variation there? I'm just gonna put my brush down and kinda roll it back and forth. And see what a nice crack that makes. After that beautiful back background, we're just gonna put a bunch of cracks in it. Okay, let's do it here too. I kinda like that. Wherever it is on yours, just go ahead, put a pretty crack. And make sure if it goes all the way through to do it on that side. And let's see, I'm gonna put one right here. Cracks are really fun. I'll bet Izzy's got a bunch of them. Izzy, do you like doing cracks? My little Izzy, Izzy. I love Izzy. She's been in the studio all week and painting and painting and she painted Kinsey. She painted a new puppy. Did you guys stick with the name Lady? Did you change her name? Let's see, we're gonna go across here. Painted her, painted three signs for teacher appreciation. We just had fun this week. Okay, I think that's pretty good on the cracks. And if you want them lighter, just wash your brush and go for that light brown. <laughs> and kind of put some light brown ones in like that. And yours does not have to, I'm just gonna do a middle one. Yours does not have to look like mine. Yours has to look like yours. Okay, Miss Mary. You okay, girl? Girlfriend. It's like late. Uh, Captain says Lady Millie May Elmerin. Oh, Lady Millie May Amaras. I love that. Yeah. Lady Millie May. Oh, she's a Southern Belle. Oh my goodness. That is a pretty baby too. I love her. I love her already. Okay, you guys, what do you think? How are your paintings coming? <laughs> okay. I think now we're ready for the white. And the good thing is, is that it's already mixed. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this pointy brush until we do the, until we do the white. Okay, so I made it kind of watery. I don't want it too watery because I don't want it to run. I just want it a little transparency. So I'm gonna go up about, oh, a little bit farther than my first piece of wood. And I'm gonna put, I'm only gonna go out about three and a half inches. Do a straight line right there and then a wiggle. And then right above that brown line, I'm gonna bring it back like this. So it's white and it's light, so it might be hard to see. So straight line there, wiggle, straight line there. I think if you do it brighter, it's going to reflect more. There you go. That's so, kind of, that shadow is, can you see it? Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's the top part of the lid that you that you screw the cap on. So now let's come inside a little bit, and then just go straight down like that, and that's it. That's all we're going to do with that for now. We're going to come back to that, and we're going to make it look see through with reflections. Did I make it too short? Oh, yeah, I probably did. No, nope, that's fine. That looks cute. No, it's a smaller. It's just a little smaller, smaller tart, yeah. Tart. Oh, yeah. I'm translating it from a big canvas to an 11 yeah. by 14. So, <clears throat> so it's be small. Yes. Okay, now it's very important that you have this here because 
we're going to be painting the stems into the jar. So you don't want your stems to be over here or coming down over here because they need to be inside of the jar. That's why we, we put the marks there. Can you see that? Yes. Okay. All right, guys. So now we're going to take our, our pointy brush and we're going to start with some dark brown. How are you doing, Miss Mary? And we are going to start by putting stems in. I'm going to, actually, I'm going to do this one right here. So you literally just go like this and then down into the jar. So it's kind of like a candy cane and then down. Just remember, you don't want to cross that part of the jar because it wouldn't be through the glass. Does that make sense? So there's one there. There's a candy cane there. And then we're gonna do that second little whoopty right there. That whoopty, that's what, <laughs> I don't know what those white flowers are called. We just kind of made them up. And then we've got baby's breath in there too, but we're gonna go like this and then bring it in. And then the rest of these, we're just gonna do random. They just have to be inside of that part, okay? So we can do, just put stems like that with your dark brown. And they can crisscross like that. So we've got four. How are you doing, Mr. Steve? I'm good. Okay. Just checking to make sure that's all looking good. Okay. So we've got one, two, three, four with the dark. And then let's do, I promise we'll put more in there. Now these, they're kind of scary, but they don't need to be. And that, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pointy brush and our brown, and you're just gonna add just a tish of black, okay? And the trick with this part is not to go over it and over it, just make it kind of wet, because even if it's see-through, when we do this stroke, even if it's see-through and not solid, it's prettier than if you try to keep making it thicker and thicker. Does that make sense? So even if it kind of goes see-through a little bit, it's okay. Now this I kind of did go over a little bit, but not scratchy, just like a solid stroke. Okay. So if you have Everybody's a talking about can't keep up or Kathy. Okay. I'm, it's okay. I'm just going to talk. You guys catch up. So what you can do when you're ready is just put a one in the comments or a, um, yeah, put a one in the comments. That's perfect. So when you're ready to go, just put a one in the comments when you're caught up. Will that work? And then I can wait. This is such a pretty painting, you guys. It's, it's, um, actually I think these two curly cues right here are going to be like they're the hardest part of the whole thing and they're they're not hard I promise everybody's going to have their own personalities and it's just going to be so pretty oh you know what Kathy while we're waiting um can you grab me a piece of white paper so I can show them how to do um yeah so I can explain how to do a blue bonnet Thank you, honey. He's so good. My little, my little hubby. <laughs> Today was awesome at church. I loved it. So while we're waiting, I can show you this beautiful, look at my daughter-in-law got me the, a set of these candles. So pretty and they smell amazing. I'm gonna keep okay. the containers forever. Tony Tots put a wand. Okay, Tony, you ready? Who else has Let's a see. one? Yeah, Dira says you are so great. Oh, dear Dira. I love you. you gotta so I think Mary and uh, what was the other ladies? I forget. Uh, Kathy and Izzy. Yeah, I think they're a little bit behind, so that's give them okay. a little time. Yeah. That's okay. Everybody goes at their own speed. And that's what's beautiful about 
if you guys want to put ones when you're ready. And if you're already done, it's a good time to Catherine, really put a wand. <gasps> Kathy's ready. Is it Kathy Amaraz or Kathy Achich? And Stephanie Nettleman put a wand. <gasps> Stephanie, hi Stephanie, how are you? Oh my gosh. Let's see. Oh yeah, I'll put that right there for when we're ready to Maybe do it. Isabella. Okay, Kathy. She's up church. She's put the wand, so I think. Okay, she's everybody. Fine. Yeah. Let's go. I love you guys. This is a great way to um, communicate. All right. So this one. Remember, we mix just a little bit of black with the brown. You want it kind of wet um, because this is literally the same way we did these strokes. It's just fast. And trust me, I'm not going to be able to replicate that. But I know that I. I went from here, I did two loops, and then back like an S. So I'm gonna try and replicate that one. Is it gonna be the same? No, <laughs> but we're gonna try. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take that one. It's gonna cross something, because it's gonna have to. But remember, it's background, and it's got a little mix with black. I'm gonna start from here and just go loop, do loop, do down like an S. And see how see-through that is? So it's okay, that's the beauty of it. I like that. That's why we added the black, it's see-through, but you can still see it. Wow. So we'll go up, loop, loop, back down the opposite way and scroll. And yes, I am making this up as we go. <laughs> no, I painted it before. This is so pretty. I painted this for a 30 year old's birthday. We made it up. This would be pretty farmhouse, pretty country, pretty feminine. Okay, just happy Mother's Day. Okay, so you can't see it, and this is the same thing that's going to happen with yours. But this one here, that's actually a loop, a loop, and then another scroll. Exactly like this one, but... It's going to go out instead of down. Okay. Okay. So let's do that again. You want it a little bit watery just so it can make it all the way there. So now this one, I'm going to do it this way. Loop, loop, scroll. And we just finished the hardest part of the whole painting. Okay, so pretty. You gotta hit the red one. My son's trying to call for Mother's Day. Oh my goodness. His timing's always been impeccable. <laughs> <laughs> Even when he was born. Okay, so I'm gonna wash my brush really good and then we're going to throw a little bit of green stems in there, but even those are going to be through dark green. I'm just getting it, just loading my brush. And we're going to put, this is going to get messy, but don't worry about it. All of this is okay. underneath your flowers. So don't, it's, it's all underneath your flowers. So we're going to do, let's crisscross some stems. Do you want to? So let's go. One. And I paint in layers, so don't don't worry, you've got this. I'm so proud of everybody for freehanding too. I love freehanded paintings. They're so pretty. Miss Mary, are you still with us, love? Yeah, she is. Okay. Yay. She's hanging in there. She's hanging in there. Okay, and then I'm going to put another one. Maybe let's just kind of crisscross it a little bit like that. Because we want some stems in our jar. We're going to fake the flowers in anyway, so it's okay. All right. Now let's see. I'm gonna wash my brush. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we've already been painting for like 40 minutes. That's pretty good. Okay. 
All right, so now let's get ready to do some leaves. And this is where it gets a little bit confusing, but it doesn't have to. When you do leaves, I'm going to show you a sample here without the stems. Oh, I'm shaking a little bit. So when you do the leaves, start with the point of your brush and then just push it down and go all the way to the bottom. Okay, so start with the point of your brush, just the point, and then smoosh it down. That's how you're going to make the leaves. And they'll crisscross, and they'll go the other way, like that. We're just going to fill in the bottom of this jar, okay? It won't be hard. It just takes a little practice. So first, I'd like to mix a little of the, oops, of the brown with the green, and it could be the dark brown or the light brown, because these are gonna be our leaves that are in the back, okay? The back of the jar. So I'm just gonna push down like this and then pull across. Can you guys see that? Is that in the shot, babe? Huh? Okay, let's do that color again. Let's do, let's do like three of those. So again, let's do it like that. These are just going to be random leaves. They don't have to be put where I put, where I put them. Let's just do three of them. One, two, three, and I'm crisscrossing them. Because if you crisscross them, your jar will look fuller. Like, like it has a lot more leaves in it. And this is going to be covered up later as it dries because we still have to put all of our paint to make it look like glass. Right now we're painting inside what's inside of the jar. Those are my dark green leaves. So now I'm going to wash my brush, tiny circles, and then I'm going to do just regular green. I am so happy you guys are here with me right now. I love Mother's Day. I do. I love it because you guys are here. Okay. Now let's do it again. We're going to do the same thing. We're not going to worry about what's underneath there. You just want to stay inside this section here. And I'm just going to go over all the leaves with just a light green. This is what's going to give you depth. Okay. You can put one on the side of the jar. Let's just do three of each color that we do and it'll really fill it in. And then three. That looks pretty. Those are our darks. Oh, we're almost done with that. I cannot wait to see everybody's paintings. I'm thinking the first 10 people that post their paintings, I think I want to, um, well, I know, but I think I want to do a contest for a really cool prize. And I think by the end of the painting, I'll know what that is. Because <laughs> right now, I don't. Okay, so let's grab a little bit of white and mix it with the green. So you have kind of, here, maybe I can do it this way. So you have kind of a light green. And if you have lime green, now's the time to use your lime green, okay? I'm mixing um, the dark green with the white to make light green, but if you wanna do it with lime green, you can. It's really pretty. We've done it both ways in the studio, okay? So, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that light green and I'm gonna do three. I think I'm gonna put one here. You just keep layering it over the top. And then two. Yadira probably understands this. Do you do the same thing on rocks? Do you do it in layers? And then you do three. Oh, I think I want a little something, something in that corner, but I, I just have to avoid the temptation. And then that one's kind of the same way at the bottom. Then if you want to take that light green, I'm going to wait a minute for you guys. This is so pretty. 
It looks a mess right now, but you're, you're going to love this painting. How's everybody doing? They're not commenting. They're oh, painting. They're painting. <laughs> Good. I'll wait. Miss Tony, I'm wearing your pretty necklace you made me. Um, our pastor's wife gave me compliments on it today. She's like, oh, where did you get that necklace? She loved that it was leather. She loved that it was turquoise. And she loved that it was wraparound. So I told her I would let you know. <laughs> you always make pretty jewelry, though. Okay. I'm going to... So Cassie, <laughs> that's so, <laughs> okay, so I'm also going to take that light green and just kind of whip our little, put little highlights on a couple of the other leaves, just so it looks um, 3D-ish. And I think that that is it for our for our um, for our greens and I'll wait you guys let me know with some ones in the comments when you're ready to start painting blue bonnets I'm so excited right now I love this Okay. He was testing all the equipment for me yesterday. It was so cute. So handsome. Okay, Catherine's one. <gasps> Hi, Catherine. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. They're, they're catching up. Kathy Upchurch. Okay. On, so on. Kathy, I'm so glad you're painting this with us. Did you paint the four sisters? Did you end up getting to paint it? It's pretty fun. So on, so on. Okay. So before before we start our actual blue bonnets, I'm gonna get these two flowers right here. Okay. So, first pray that that doesn't fall. Okay, so all you do with that, literally, and you know I always pull up the sides, but this, just poke it in your white paint, in the clean part, poke some of that off, and we're gonna follow this. It's gonna be small to kind of thicker around that very first candy cane line we put in, and you want it to be kind of thin, and just poke that white, just dab, dab, dab. If you need to get more, get more. Just dab that white on there. Go all the way to the end. We're gonna stick some cute little brown lines in there. And mine's about, oh, three quarters of an inch wide maybe. And then just kind of have it taper off into a little tiny one. There you go. There's one. Isn't that pretty? I don't know what these are called, but they, they look really nice in paint. And then we're going to highlight those later and add a little bit of some white stemming in there. So now let's do this one. And with this one, we're not going to start all the way back. We're going to start about 
about three inches back. And you're gonna, don't worry about what's underneath because remember, all of it's in layers. And just kind of tap that like that. Isn't that pretty? You can put a little tiny ones at the end. There you go, that's what makes it look real when we're done. And if you want, you can put a very tiny bit, like a very tiny bit of the blue, mix it with white to where it's super pale. Super pale. And what we're gonna do is next to the stem, we're just gonna tap in a tiny bit of that blue to make it look like a low light, like it's the shadow under the flower. And that's what's gonna give it kind of that 3D look. Do you like that? All right, now let's do it on this one, because whenever you have two things, you always wanna repeat what you've done on one on the other. I love it. There you go, that's really pretty. You're allowed to like your own artwork. <laughs> okay. Now, while you guys are doing that, I wanna show you something. I'm gonna do it separately on this. Actually, it's white, that's not gonna work. Okay. Um. You know how a candy cane is a triangle and at the bottom it has yellow and then it's orange and it tips in white? That's kind of the same way you do a blue bonnet. You start at the bottom where the yellow is, but it's dark blue. And then the middle section is light blue and then the top is white, okay? And then you tap that white all the way down and it's beautiful. The only thing is you don't want to shape it like a candy corn. It want, you want it more like a teardrop. Okay, so we're going to do the dark brown or the dark blue here. We're going to mix a medium blue. And then when we do the white and we tap it and bring it down, it's going to mix with everything. And that's what's going to give us our beautiful blue bonnet. So let's see. We're going to start. I think I'm going to start with a little one right here. And because of the size of my canvas, mine are going to be about three inches, maybe even a two and a half to three inches at the smaller side. So with that being said, I'm just going to poke. Are you guys ready for the blue bonnets? Yeah, there's no comments. So okay. They're still working. That's I'm sure okay. they're going. Well, we're going to be making like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can wait a few minutes. <laughs> You can, do you want to, oh, you can't see if you sit down, huh? No, I'm good. Okay. <clears throat> so we are going to take, I'm going to go ahead and start with the demo. We're going to take, I'm just going to poke my brush right into the dark blue. Because I need you guys to just kind of watch this first anyway before you do your first one. Good job, Dad. Okay. So I'm going to pretend there's a stem right here because this one, is lower than the glass, which is fine. It just means it's outside the glass. Okay, please stay. No. I've had this follow me so many times at the studio, I know. <gasps> okay, so first, I'm gonna have you watch me make one. I think I'm gonna make one where that stem is. So first, you tap your bottom with dark blue, okay? And I'm only going to do it like that, maybe a half inch, like a little bit of a smile. And then I'm going to mix my medium blue. Okay, a medium blue. So you have your dark blue, your medium blue, and your white. Okay, I'm going to mix kind of a lot of it because we're going to be making like seven. So there's my light blue on the bottom or dark blue, it's kind of like a little bit of a smile, 
So that's the yellow part of your, um, oh, what is it? Candy corn. So now start about up here, tap it down into that blue. That's the orange part of your candy corn. It's gonna look like that. Wash your brush really good, little circles. I'm just doing a demo, that's why this one's moving fast and then we'll do the next one slow. Then the top part of your um, candy corn is white, that little tip, same here. This is kind of like an arrow. You make your tip and then watch what happens as you bring that white down. Tap into those colors and look, you have a pretty blue bonnet. You just pull the blue into the white and the white into the blue. And there's your blue bonnet. You don't want to do it too much or you might over blend like I kind of did. If you did, take your dirty brush and just put that dark blue back down in there. And it's just floating. It doesn't have a stem or anything. It doesn't matter. All those stems are um, in the bottom. We're faking the flowers in. They'll all look like they have their own stem. So did you like that? That's our first blue bonnet. Isn't it pretty? I love it. Cassie. Have no comments. Okay. So. <clears throat> everybody, I'm gonna wait for everybody. Kathy Upchurch got one, so I think they're all ready. Okay. <clears throat> so. so that's one. This one is, we just did this one. I'm gonna do one on the edge. If you only have half of it or just a little bit of room, that's okay. We're still gonna put it in there because mine's probably gonna be a half too, so don't worry about it. And remember how you start? You start with a little bit of a, mine's gonna be a half. With a little bit of blue, like a little smile. And then with my dirty brush, I'm gonna take my medium and punch in that orange part. Does the candy cane now, or the candy cane, the candy corn analogy help? And then always after you do your medium, wash your brush. Poke it in that white. You've actually kept the white pretty clean. And put your little point at the top of your white. And then just start pulling it down into your blue. And look at that pretty little blue bonnet. They're a lot easier than, than you thought, huh? I'm going to go ahead. I like a little bit of dark at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and put some dark back in. There we go. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. <laughs> I gotta remember to keep my hands off of my face. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so there's two blue bonnets. Now let's, there, there's um, a fourth one over here, or a third one over here leaning over your two flowers that you just made. Those are filler flowers. Okay, please don't fall. All right, I might just put that, this down here so we can use it as a reference. I don't mind holding my painting. It reminds me of being at the studio. Okay, so I'm gonna poke into my dark blue with a clean brush. And this one's gonna be facing that way. So let's see, am I gonna have one, two, three, four, a little at the top, yep. Okay, so I'm gonna do my blue smile sideways, my dark blue smile sideways. And see, it goes right into this a little bit, that's okay. And then I'm gonna grab some of my medium and go into my Little candy cane that way. And it's just poke, 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 poke. And you wanna wash your brush really good. Grab your white. And then I'm gonna start with the point. 
I love this because everybody's blue bonnets always look so different from each other's, but they're always so very pretty. Okay, there's a blue bonnet. So if you did the same technique, but you had red on the bottom and you had orange in the middle with yellow on the top, you would be making an Indian paintbrush which looks just like the blue bonnet, only they're called Indian paintbrushes. They're different colors. So pretty. I just wanted to do blue bonnets because it's Mother's Day and they're just out and they're just so beautiful. Okay, there's two. I'm going to hop over here and just skip one up instead of doing it next to each other with a wet one. I'm going to be doing this one next, and then we'll add that one in later, that one in later, and then the top one. So I'm gonna do a smile right here. We're just gonna do some squeezing going on because we're doing layers. So there's a smile. And then let's do a medium. Remember to do the orange part, which is the medium blue of your candy corn. This is so fun. It's so relaxing. It's so nice to have something creative to do. I love it. Okay. Painting's like gardening. You can go anywhere. You just relax. Okay, I'm going to do my little arrow in the top or triangle or piece of pizza in the white. Pull that white down through both blues and pull it back up into the white. I can picture these on rocks, Yadira. Thank you for serving, Mommy. I know I appreciate it. She's my double hero. She's a nurse and a major. Okay. Aren't those pretty? I'm going to put those down. It looks like I have a mini me. <laughs> I love it. The reason I like to do the 11 by 14s on the demo is they take about an hour and a half to teach to paint, where the bigger ones take two to three hours. And so I know how valuable your time is. So we're doing the smaller one. And this is the size I do with the children. Ugh, I can't talk about the kids because I'm a whore. I miss my kids. <laughs> okay. Speaking of kids. Hi, Zane. Hi, Zachy. Grandma loves you. And hi, Toby and Micah. Oh my goodness. My grandkids are teenagers and babies. There's like nobody in between. <laughs> okay, so now we've done these two. How are you guys doing? Doo -doo -doo. Let's do another one right up here. I'm gonna do one right here. It may not look exactly like the other one, but that's okay. You put them where they work on yours. So this smile is kind of going into this one. I'm doing a dark blue smile. And then going into the medium for the middle part of my candy corn. Do you guys get that analogy? You tell a child candy corn, they're like, oh, oh, I get it. <laughs> Okay, so let's wash our brush really good because remember for the white, you want a clean brush. Go ahead and start with that point. Press it out. No stress. I made that one a little long, but that's okay. Just push it into all your blue, that white. Just push it in there and then bring that blue. It carries it back up. Isn't that a great way to mix? There you go. 
Oh, that's so pretty. How are you doing, Izzy? My little is. Oh my goodness. It's it seems a little warm in here. Is it? Okay. That it's just me being nervous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Figures. Okay. So we've got three and that has five. So we're gonna start doing some squeezing. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do, see where we had that place right there? I'm gonna kind of go over this one, but not that one too much, just a little bit. I'm gonna do a dark smile. And the reason I waited is because it's a little hard if it's too wet. I know mine's a little bit wet, but this one will look like it's coming out more at you. So I'm kind of piling a lot of dark blue paint on there. Then go to your medium. I love my mommies. Ooh. Go to your medium. So pretty. Wash your brush really good before the white. I can tell you guys are in the zone. They are in the zone. And then put your point up there. And if yours fit differently than mine, that's okay. Um, do yours the way yours works for you best. Okay. Nobody's going to be comparing these. Besides, the painting's not the masterpiece you are. Uh. <laughs> Just so you know, they can hear you. <laughs> My husband's whispering to me off camera. But he's right in front of the camera, so this will probably all hear you. Okay, I know I have a space right here, but we're gonna fill that in with baby's breath. That is so pretty. I don't know if I should try to squeeze one more in there or just leave it four instead of five. Oh, well, I think I'm gonna put one right there, like a little one. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Because we need it to be full. I'm just gonna do a little one like it's poking around back there. So it's gonna be like a half smile. I just don't want it to cover that pretty piece. Because we worked hard on that. Okay, and then your medium right here. How are you doing this, Kathy? My favorite cook in the whole wide world. Well, Lakshmi is also one of my favorite cooks in the whole wide world. She makes really good Indian food. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the white right across that flower right there which is probably gonna pull some of that blue through and make it just gorgeous oh so pretty oh I love that Okay, so we have the same amount as the big one, but it's in a different setup. I love that. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> so, when you guys are finished with your blue bonnets, go ahead and um, post some ones, and then I'll know that you're ready for, to put in the baby's breath. I 
know they take a minute because you want to tweak them and stuff too. I know I do that too. I'll go in and see where I want some darker colors or lighter colors. But they look so pretty, don't they? We painted blue bonnets. Your whole painting you did today was freehand. That's pretty incredible. So I think you should pat yourselves on the back. I also do traceables, so um, where um, you trace the lines, but I, I love doing freehand. I do them both, so just so you know. Um, we're going to be doing some more paintings in the future. And I'm a children's art teacher, so I'm used to painting with the kids, but it's so fun to get to paint with the moms too. We do do adult parties as well, but mostly I do. I'm a children's art teacher. Stephanie, uh, Catherine. They've got their Good ones? ones yeah. Okay. I've got some drippies, so I'm just going to take a plain brush and kind of, I don't want mine running down the canvas. Okay. How are you doing, Miss Mary? Oh, I'm so excited to see all your paintings. Okay, so you want a really clean brush. And I've got that fluffy brush. Um, it's a pointy brush, but mine's a mess. And I like that for this type of project. So you're gonna take your um, paintbrush and just poke it or um, dip it into the white. Now with the baby's breath, we're going to be filling in blank spaces and when you do it your first um, pounces are going to be dark and then you want to lighten as you go out as your um, brush unloads the paint so it's kind of like this so do some kind of solid ones and then lightly you know kind of all over lightly do your other baby's breath and then when you're done and it's kind of light then go in and put some really bright white ones in there not a lot but enough for it to look like baby's breath and it what it is is it's your filler flowers because i see a lot of stems there so i'm going to fill it with baby's breath so pretty We're going to be right on time with this too. You guys are amazing. I think I'm going to put some baby's breath right here between these two. And remember you have your dark pokes. Kind of looks like polka dots. Izzy, how's your sister? And then lightly in between. Sophia. Miss camera shy Sophia. Like Miss Debbie. <laughs> okay. Let's keep on. Just pouncing it lightly. And these are white. So see how pretty that is? And then go back in with your with your just solid white. Make them really stand out. What it does is it kind of makes it look lacy. Right? It kind of has a lacy look. And if you have any like big spaces between your flowers, um, you can just put your baby's breath where you want to. I'm going to kind of fill a little tiny space right there and maybe put some up here. I don't have that on the big painting, but um, I'm having fun. It looks like I kind of could use some here and there. So wherever yours needs it, it's a freestyle painting. Go ahead and add some. do it. Says Sophia couldn't handle it. Oh, <laughs> Sophia, my baby. She likes to paint horses. <laughs> my little Sophie. That's okay. Is Izzy still hanging in there? Mm -hmm. And Kathy says, uh oh, I did that wrong. What? Up here. She did that wrong, so there's That's no okay. mistakes in art. There's, yes, there is no mistakes in art. 
and don't worry about it because you can put it in the regular painting I just had a little bit right there and I put a lot so we're actually finished with this part and we're finished with our stems so all we have left is our jar and we want to make that look watery we have 20 minutes left so that's plenty of time so um let me know when you've got this part finished and we'll move on to the next. And I think Kathy uh, Amaras already put her one in there, right? I'm gonna use a pointy brush that has more stable bristles. They're, they're sharper, okay? And this, you definitely want, I'm gonna scoot this over like that. You definitely want this first part. You want your um, your white paint watery. Now mine has all kinds of gunk in it and my water is like a gray color, but that's okay. I'm just gonna water um, my paint down to where it looks transparent. No, I mean, it's really watery. It's probably too watery. Okay. Now, I'm going to fake these in. Those are just like the little stripes of the um, where you twist your lid on. And that literally is however far you've got. Let's go ahead and put that line back across because we want to put it, put them inside of the jar. Do you see that? That line to connect the top lid of the jar. And you're going to go right across all of your stems. And then we're going to put some little stripes in there. And you want to start from the edge and just kind of pull some stripes like that. Oops, I got some blue in there, but that's okay. We'll just call that a reflection. It's because my little blue bonnet was wet. Let's see if I can take some of that out. So don't put blue in it. Let's see. There's no mistakes in art. I just took it off with a plain wet brush. Now, you can go this way with your white stripes too and just kind of put some little lines that go back and forth, but you want them to be see-through so that it looks like glass. Do you like that? And it doesn't have to go all the way under the flower. See that? There's no, there's a space. So that's okay. Now, this is the part where we make it look like real glass. We're going to do that first line that you made. We're going to make a watery white right next to it. It's pretty see-through. It's not solid. It's see-through. We just did that part right there. And now we're going to do it, oops, now we're going to do it on the other side. You don't want it too white because you want it to look like glass. You want it to look see-through. If it's too white, just do a plain water brush that's tapped on your paper towel and just take do I say paper towel? <laughs> Your paper towel and take the, um, you know, the excess off. Is it starting to look like glass? This is so pretty, you guys. I love Mother's Day. I love painting with you guys. Okay. Now you're going to take that same kind of watery white 
and you're gonna you're gonna do a line from a little to the left of the middle and you're gonna go down like that oh that's too see-through for you guys to see you're gonna go like this and down right through all of your leaves Can they see that? No. Okay, I just want to make sure you can see I it on can camera. See it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> and then next to that, I'm going to do it so it's a little darker so they can see it. There's a little dash, just a little dash. And then go ahead and follow this side down. Oh, and Chris bought this original painting for Christina. So he's, yeah, this is a purchase painting already and it's not even dry yet. <laughs> okay, now that we've done that, these two parts like that, it looks kind of like a, an oval. Well, it's kind of a squared off oval, or it should be, because of that lip that comes off our, out from underneath of the twist off cap. Okay, now where the curve is, let's just put a little little see-through dash like that. And remember it's transparent. And that's just watered down um, paint. The watered down white. So right there. Okay. Okay, so we're getting ready to do some boops. And the boops are a little bit thicker of a white. And there's going to be three boops. We're going to go boop, boop, boop. It's three stripes. One, two, three. Just like that. One, two, three. You can barely see them. Okay. Now you've got the clear in there. You've got your clear. Now we're gonna do the solid white highlights, okay? So wash your brush really good, make a nice point. And then we're gonna take, you're gonna dip just the tip, like not just like tiny, but you're gonna dip the tip in your white. This is it, you guys. This is when you get to the little white, that's your, that's your final steps. And so we want this to stand out because it's where the light's most concentrated on the glass. So we're gonna do, here, let me show you on this one. We're gonna do one, two, three, four. Right down that clear part that you did, but you want the widest one to be where the curve of your jar is. So go one, two, not to confuse you, three, four, just like that. Not to confuse you, you can put them anywhere you want as long as it's in that line. So one, two, three, four. Sometimes it helps to count it out. Mm. Okay, now right there in that middle one we, that we did, Let's just put a little white line. Oh, don't go edge to edge with it. Just put it in the center. And that's all you need. Ah, pretty good. Okay, now that one little dash that you did, put a little white dot in that. We're doing our highlights. And then also where we did the curvy line here, go ahead and put one, two dashes in there. I cannot wait to see your paintings. This is a new thing for me, painting online. Normally, like when I did the Four Sisters, that was my first one. My first painting online, you could just see my hands. This is my second, my first one I did where you could see me was a drawing for the kids, the three birdies. 
and I was so nervous I went straight to my hands. So here's my second attempt at actually being with you guys. Okay, so now we're going to dip in the white and you're going to outline those little wigglies and you want it to be a nice pretty solid white. Outline the wigglies and then also go across your jar bottom just like that. That line can be solid. Skinny, try and make it skinny though as you can because you want it inside of the, the, um, the original line. But if it covers the whole thing, don't worry about it. It'll still be beautiful and it'll still look like glass. And then you have two strokes left. One is the outside of your jar. Go ahead and outline it with straight white. Nice, thick, regular white on that side. This is so pretty. Do you like it, Kathy? Looks good. Okay. And then the one, the side of this chart, it's just a little line like that for all you, all my ladies that love details. There it is. So the jar is done. Remember how long ago we were doing all the leaves and the stems? Okay. So now wash your brush super good. We're just going to do a couple little details. And then that's it. So wash your brush really good. We're gonna go into the dark brown. And I'm pulling up, I like to pull up my paint instead of poke it, just because it makes a thinner line. And these flowers here, remember in the beginning I told you we would do one more little detail? It's super thin, You, if you don't wanna do it, you don't have to but they're just little lines that actually hold your flower to its stem. And it's brown and you just go one, two, and maybe a dot, three. I don't even know if I left room in that one. Well, I'll just do a little stripe like that, one. And that's it. That's your painting. I'm gonna. We we're in, we still have five more minutes. So if you have any questions, Mr. Steve, honey, don't make all those. <laughs> he's like, he's done. I guess. So, um, Mr. Steve will let me know if you have any questions, because that's it. That's our painting for today. Happy Mother's Day. I hope you enjoyed every bit of this. I love you guys, and I hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful day. I hope you had breakfast in bed, or I don't know, lunch after church, or you got to open handmade cards in a totally messy house from little ones running everywhere, and phone calls, and or sending prayers to heaven. If mom's in heaven, Daisy, God bless you. Daisy, thanks, Miss Steph. Um, Stephanie, I miss you. Oh, I miss you guys too like crazy. Hi, Daisy. Hi, happy Mother's Day. Hi to the girls. I miss all of you. I miss everybody at the studio. I hope your paintings turned out. Oh, remember to post them. Go ahead and post them in the comments when you're done. If you don't want to take pictures with you, that's okay. Take pictures of your paintings. And the first 10 that post, I'm going to, um, I don't know how we're going to randomly pick, but we'll um, maybe use the app, the software app um, that does that kind of stuff. And then there's going to be a prize. I think our next paid paint party, well, you'll get one free entrance. That's what we'll do. We'll buy your next entrance. And I think my next free paint party will be in September because it'll be my 60th birthday and I'm going to want to celebrate. So anyway, that's in four months. I love you guys. Um, thank you for coming and I'm spending your Mother's Day with me. You're dear. You have a beautiful day. Thank you for the great class. Oh, <clears throat> thank you. So Stevie, <laughs> thank 
Thank you. Bye.